Hey everybody, happy Friday. You have made it through the first week of school. Um, uh, everything is going okay. Um, I hope this week has gone as good as it could have. Um, so yesterday we talked about sourcing and evidence and what that looks like for history. We are gonna actually expand on that a little bit by looking at context and corroboration today. So basically we're looking at what's happening around us and are, can other do other people agree with it? Um, so as always, here is our daily objective question of the day. Um, the objective is hopefully by the end of this, you'll be able to understand and explain how context and corroboration help us better think like a historian. Um, and the question today, which you should have already seen in the module is, can one source tell us everything we may need to know or want to know about whatever topic we're studying? Uh, so if you haven't already, be sure you answer that question in the discussion on the module, and then we will get started with context. So according to our friends at Google and my dictionary desk right here, um, context is simply the circumstances that form the setting for an event or an idea. Um, basically, what that's saying is what's happening around us. Um, in history, context can be what is happening at the point in time when someone wrote their book, when someone wrote their newspaper article, when they made their video, what was happening around them, what was the context of their video. Um, so, again, in history, context can kind of tell us where it happened, um, tell us where in the world it happened, what was going on in that person's life or in the world at large when they created their source. And what other world events were happening? Um, historically, context just means looking at the setting of the work that you're reading or studying. Um, in other words, the time period and the place where it is happening. Um, so this is just another way of another set of questions to help you kind of figure out the context of something. So you're looking at probably what, when, and where the setting was located. Um, so what year actually was it written? Um, where at? That does matter, like where it was created can influence what it's. Um, another question is what was different then compared to now? So what's different when the, the source was created? And then what's the same? So what's changed in the world and what happened? Um, sometimes that takes a while to answer. Sometimes things don't change quickly. So for a long time, things don't change. Um, everything kind of is the same. And then this last one, how might the circumstances in which the document was created affect its content? So were they writing in the middle of global protests? Were they recording their video in the middle of a gunfight? Stuff like that can influence what is created, if you will. Um, so to give you an idea of what context looks like, Without context, if I just said the desert was empty except for the massive building towering above us is just an amazement, okay, where is this building at? What desert? What kind of building? It doesn't really give you a whole lot. Um, it's kind of very vague, very empty, and you're not really sure what they're talking about. Now, if there's context given, it might look like the desert outside of Cairo, Egypt was empty except for the great pyramids that towered over us was doing that. We can actually find out quite a bit from that. Um, we found out the deserts outside of Cairo, Egypt. And uh, we found out the building they were talking about was the Great Pyramids. And so it gives us context a sense of where we're at and what's in front of us. Um, this gives you a whole lot more information that you can use than this one does. Um, so the one on the right here, you can do a lot with. This one, very empty, very vague, doesn't really tell you what you need to know. Um, so context, again, is just what's happening 
around the person around you. Corroboration, on the other hand, is do others agree? Um, so again, I looked up what this the definition of this for you, and it went to Google and in the dictionary again. Corroboration means simply means to support with evidence or authority. So what that means for us is that oftentimes when we're studying something in history, one source isn't going to be enough. Um, there's a whole host of reasons why one source may not give us everything we need to know. Um, another source might give us a different perspective. We might want, if it's a battle, we might want both sides' thoughts on it. If you only have one source, you're, all, you're probably missing the other side's point of view. So we usually want at least two or three sources kind of confirming what is happening. Um, so the more sources we have that are giving saying similar information, the more reliable that information probably is. Um, so corroboration is just finding more more than one source that uh, is telling us the same thing. Um, so basically, you can think of corroboration as is there evidence from different sources telling us the same thing. Um, so if you haven't noticed already what we did yesterday with sourcing evidence goes really directly to today when we're talking about context and corroboration. So corroboration, if you want to think of it this way, is when you find several pieces of evidence tell the same story. Um, so if you have two sources saying the same thing, they are corroborating each other by providing the same information. We can reliably assume that, that information is probably accurate. Um, again, just some other questions you might want to consider when you're trying to corroborate something is what do other documents say? What do other sources tell you about this event? Do they agree? Um, if not, fine. What could make someone disagree about something? Um, what are other possible documents? Is there a video of this event? Is there a song about this event that we might be able to listen to? Um, is there artwork? What have you? Um, the more the variety of sources you can find, the better. And then you might also want to think about what documents are the most reliable. Is there one set of documents that you feel is more reliable than another? Is one person more credible than another? Um, so that's kind of what corroboration looks like. Um, to give you another example, um, on two Wednesday, you guys did the article about the explosion in Lebanon. Um, one source, according to the CNBC, the entire government of Lebanon resigned after that explosion. Okay. So your first thought would be, are there other sources, other news places saying the same thing? And with a quick Google search, I found a couple. I found the New York Times had an article talking about the government of Lebanon had resigned after the explosion. And then I also saw a CNN article that said pretty much the same thing. The government in Beirut also resigned due to the anger over the explosion in Beirut. So I have at least two other sources basically corroborating this one. So CNBC was my original. Uh, upon a little bit more research, I found multiple other sources saying same, same thing that the government in Lebanon had resigned because of what the explosion did to their country. So context is just what's going on around you or around this person creating the source you're reading. And corroboration is just finding multiple sources that kind of say the same thing or say similar things. They might be a little different but the general idea of both is the same. Um, so the New York Times might say something a little different, but the headlines both imply that they are both talking about how the government in Lebanon resigned because of their handling of the explosion. So that is what I have for you all today. Um, on the next page of the module, you'll see the video of me explaining what the assignment is and what you're expected to do and just going through the questions with you. Um, 
as always, if you guys have any questions, shoot me an email. Um, don't forget that we're still doing the Zoom office parts for him. So if you want to come okay. in and answer the questions with you, I'm more than willing to do that. So make sure that you are utilizing that, keeping you. Um, if you don't need it, I hope you guys have a good weekend. And I will see you hopefully on, on Monday. Have a good weekend, you guys.